to start up a biotechnology company. That takes, um, I would say the first thing it really, really takes is a passion and guts. It takes a passion that you really believe that what you're doing is going to be something that people want. And it takes a lot of guts because you really, you it becomes all consuming. It's, it's something that takes up all your time. Um, it's not something that you can very easily do on the side. You can't have your regular job and just go, oh, and I'll do this a couple hours a week. It becomes a big um, project on its own and it, it basically takes up your time. Um, on the more practical side, it takes people who understand exactly what it is, who can bring it to the people who have money. So from my experience, most of the people who try to do a startup um, don't have the money to do it. So you have to go find people with money. So the first thing is you get your idea. And you say, I have this idea that is going to be very, very important, and other people are going to want it. So one of our ideas when we started BioProtocol was um, the three scientists who founded it had this idea that the way to do experiments and to make sure they work was that you get the best set of directions, so the best recipes, the best, you know, from the ingredients and the set of directions of how to do it, you get that from um, labs that are doing it very, very well. So you go to all the top labs and you get all the recipes of how they do things and all their sets of instructions, and then you put it all on the web. And when we started BioProcol, this was the very early days of the web. So all the stuff that's on there now, about 80% of it wasn't there at that time. Um, and you put it on the web and then everybody gets to see it and everybody gets to do things by knowing the right set, the right way to do it. And the, so that was a good idea because people needed that. The only way that people were really getting, we didn't have large, what we call protocols, which are those recipes, we didn't have those on the web. They weren't easy to find. So it was a very good idea that there was definitely people who needed it. Second step is you have to convince someone to give you the money to be able to start it, to be able to actually take all the work of going to every one of the top labs across the world, getting those recipes, putting them into a way that they can find them easily. And, and so you have to get people to agree to that. So that was another big part. That's probably the biggest part is if you can't get the funding, you can't do it. It's just very, or you do it very, very slowly and somebody else is going to beat you to it. So it's, getting the money was a really big piece of it. And then the other is, well, if you have the money and you have the idea, you get the people, you get the right people to be able to do it. So now you've got to go find the right people to help you make this dream a reality. And after you get the right people, you have to figure out a way that this is still going to make money continually so it can fund itself. So whether it's going to be a nonprofit site or it's going to be something that you're going to make money on, somehow you have to have a steady stream of money so people who want it are somehow paying for it. And you can either have them pay directly or you can have a um, you can have ads that you know the advertisers will pay for the ads because people are coming to the site. So like a Google, like Google would be an example where people come to the site, you don't pay any money, it's a free site, but there are advertisers who are paying to have their to to support that site. So you can have all sorts of stuff. So you've got to decide how are you going to make money on this in the long run because people don't like to give you money if they don't think they're going to get something back. So you have to have that. So I'd say that's kind of, once you have those things in place, then you're well on your way. And now it's just how well do you execute? How well do you actually do it? Um, and perform it and let people know that you have it. So then there's all the things that come downstream like marketing. Um, of it, letting all your friends know, letting everybody know that you've got it. And uh, then then you get to see how something that you actually built can take off. 